Hot off the presses every Thursday, the Canarsie Courier is the oldest weekly published newspaper in Brooklyn. Founded originally by Walter S. Patrick in 1921, it's still in existence today. Well, the Canarsie Courier is uh, probably Brooklyn's oldest weekly newspaper and it's been very popular. The community loves to see it every week and uh, other newspapers have come and gone, but we remain independent owners all the time. Our weekly social circulation is under 10,000, and we distribute to uh, communities in the area, including Mill Basin, Bergen Beach, Georgetown, Starrett City, East Flatbush, parts of East New York, even get a little into Sheepshead Bay, uh, Marine Park, and of course, Canarsie was our hub. And now we serve Oh, it's actually, it's probably more like 80 to 100,000 people. If you look at our paper and you look at the other papers every week, in all modesty, we have more local news than any other newspaper. As, as managing editor, I uh, oversee uh, everything from an editorial standpoint that goes in the paper. Um, such as the, the first, what we usually call it is about the first 10 pages. And we try to hard copy there by that I mean the uh, uh, bang bang shoot 'em up and fires and things like that. That's the hard news, uh, which is also crucial community developments as well. Um, I edit a lot of the feature articles that come in, the non-hard news stuff that uh, the managing editor, Mr. Rogers, takes care of. Stories on schools, uh, local politicians may have done something, um, events that are going on in the neighborhood, uh, meetings and I'll get the copy will come in and I'll go through it and I'll edit it. As a reporter, I go out, I cover stories, um, whether it's hard news, um, features, meetings, um, profiles, things of that nature. Um, and when I come in here, I, on Wednesday is our deadline day, so I proofread, um, I would say, 90, 95% of the publication before it goes out to print. Uh, we have uh, the mayor's column. We have uh, uh, general uh, uh, columns from doctors and so on and so forth. In the entertainment section, we have Andy Rooney. We also have, uh, uh, we're fed by the uh, Associated Press. My features editor, Neil, Neil Friedman, has a column he calls This Week's Attitude, and it's an attitude. It's an opinion column. I could write about anything. I want and uh, you know I tried not to use uh, profanity or obscenities I'll use dashes and dots or other symbols to indicate when I want to think but I and I write I, I, I like to write about politics I write about you know current events I even write about the entertainment industry and the rest of the paper basically what any newspaper does you put your ads on the page and you want to fill it around it but we have features we have a TV two-page TV guide every week we have an entertainment section where I get a movie review from AP I get book reviews from AP. Uh, we have a soaps column because that's still popular with a lot of people like to read that. And then we have a feature of Women's World. I reported Daryl Moore Meal gathers, compiles articles on women's issues. This is the Women's World page. Um, it's a feature section in the Canarsie Courier, um, published every week. Um, the page basically contains material um, that will be of interest to our female readers. Um, it would have um, beauty tips, um, health information, um, fashion tips. Um, I try to mix up, I put some cartoons on the page to uh, give a little sense of humor. Um, I usually do the page maybe two weeks in advance. Um, and it's also very interesting because the rest of the paper is a lot of hard news and features. So this gives it a little bit more you know, relaxed personality. I did a story a few years ago. Um... I think about three years ago about a GI who was, uh, was killed in Iraq and his family every year they got together and um, so I interviewed the family and the, and the brother and the mother and the father. Uh, the stories we cover are, are community oriented as a community newspaper should be. So, you know, next week I got a story going in on a local assemblyman. He helped sponsor a contest statewide about uh, naming the state butterfly which some people think the state really needs a butterfly. But Al Assemblyman Alan Maisel sent us a press release, announced the winner. I went on the, uh, the, the internet and I found pictures of the, of the winning butterfly. And we're going to run that story. It's a nice little story next week. It's a very f um, f family feel, you know, because it's a small publication. 
and it's, we come out once a week, so we have we have a little time. So it's, we have time to kind of work with with deadlines and, and all that. We get feedback on it. a lot of people call us about it, and say you know they like what we write.